Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. This is Intuitive Tarot with me, Mama Court. Today I'm going to be reading for my Cancerian subscribers, my water sign subscribers. This is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs or if you're a cross watcher and you're interested in madly in love with or you just want to know how your Cancerian ex is doing, then all cross watchers are welcome. All I ask is that you don't wish any negativity upon anybody, please. Only positivity, because karma is a bee and it'll end up coming back on thee, my loves. And nobody wants that. If you do want good karma, then pay it forward. Do wonderful things. Always do service to others, not service to self. And you will see the benefits of that good karma being paid out, because it'll be coming back to you in no time. We are in Taurus season. Taurus season is from the 20th of April all the way through till the 20th of May. Good messages for my Cancerians. Good messages for my Cancerians. Such a beautiful day today. I'm literally looking outside my window here and it is such a beautiful day sun is shining I've got my like summer dress on I've done my hair curly I haven't done my hair curly in a long time maybe you're making more of an effort treating yourself What did I say at the start? Good karma. Justice is at play here. Good karma is coming. It's way for you. Wow, I can't start focusing on the devil, which is Capricorn energy. You've been really hard at work, my Cancerians. Really, really hard at work. And I feel like you've been focusing on focusing on your income, focusing on your abundance, making sure that you're stable. That's what Taurus season's all about. Tauruses have this they have this drive and this ambition to succeed, and they love living off the fruits of their labor. It's like this adrenaline of working really hard and seeing the I've just dropped that on the floor I've just dropped my uh crystal on the floor um yeah just like maybe you're buying more clothes at the moment living off the luxurious life yeah live yeah buying more things yourself treating yourself because you've been really really hard at work that's what I'm seeing Yeah. Yeah, you worked your ass off doing more and more overtime. I'm seeing. You seem to be the only one at work. While everybody else has gone home, you're still in work. Or you're bringing work home, I'm seeing for some of you. You're doing work from home when you shouldn't be. But you're wanting to make sure that you create this stability, this stable lifestyle, not just for you, but for your close friends and family that are around you. You've worked really hard because you didn't have that growing up. So you want to create that for yourself as an adult. Yeah, you're working hard to manifest your dreams, not just your dream job, but your dream relationship. Yeah. You're, you're supporting others the way they supported you. So whether it's just people showing up for you, whether it's just 
people giving you money when you were a little kid and you didn't have much. So you had like um, a nan or a granddad or an uncle, auntie, or it could even be one of your parents' friends that gave you um, a couple of pound coins or um, a couple of dollars. Because I know I have a lot of American subscribers. Um, just to go down the shop and buy some sweets or to buy some chocolates or just to buy a drink or a lolly. Um, just like something that you're appreciating, you're looking back on how much these people turn up for you or it's giving you a hot dinner. Do you know what I mean? Having you around their house when you had nowhere to go and this person's giving you a hot dinner, they've given you a place to stay, they've, they've let you use their toilet, they've, they've done things for you out of the kindness of their own heart. So you've got these people in your mind about how they turn up for you. So now you're wanting to repeat that wonderful cycle because you've been raised by these wonderful people around you and you're wanting to give that back forward, you're paying that forward to them. Or you're doing the same to people around you. It's just amazing, you're lifting people up. You know that you've overcome this really, really hard time. You never thought you'd get out of it. You didn't really have much growing up. That's what I'm seeing. You had a wonderful life, but I'm not seeing that you went away five times a year on holiday and had all these luxury holidays or something like that and had all these luxury gifts. And when you came down at Christmas, you didn't have to fight your way through all the Christmas presents. Do you know what I mean? Your parents may do, but they never made you feel like you were completely going without. It's like they always tried to create the cheaper options. That's what I'm being shown. So it's like, if there was a party, I'm seeing that your family are like rallying around to give yourself the, give you that dream cake that you always wanted or a, put a, I'm seeing somebody having like a party in the garden, like a pool party or something like that. It's like they asked a friend if they could borrow their garden with a pool in it or something. Do you know what I mean? It's like they couldn't physically purchase or give you that because they didn't have the money to do it, but it's like they pulled a lot of favours to be able to give you that experience that you so much desired. And sometimes you couldn't have that, but you do it kicking off going... Oh, I really want that, and being a spoiled brat. No, you understood that your parents were doing their best, but I'm seeing as a teenager, you had this moment of clarity where you've seen how hard, how completely hard your, your family was actually working. You didn't realise truly how much your parents had to go without, your family had to go without, and that's what's given you this drive. And that's what's making you truly succeed. Because you've been down here. You know what it's like to live with nothing. You're not just fighting for yourself. You're fighting for your family. You're fighting to raise them up. You're wanting to make their dreams come true. Maybe it's paying off your family's mortgage or buying their dream home or buying their dream car or paying off their bills so they don't have to worry about it's making me really emotional i've just got this sense i can't stop looking at it that you're like coming together and you're like wrapping your arms around your family members and being like, I've got you, I've got you. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I feel like there's a moment, there's a moment where you were in a really, really hard cycle, not knowing whether you was gonna get out of it or not. There's somebody Either either you once upon a time or somebody very close to you fought with addictions, gambling, alcoholism, drugs. There's something that they really, really battled with that brought a lot of 
toxicity and a lot of trauma in, into your life. And I feel like you all coming together as a unit, as a family, that's how you got away from this cycle. But there was you and two other people in particular. So it could be you and your parents or you and grandparents. There's you and two other people. You're going forward and you're showing the way. And these two people have got your back. Couldn't even be friends. But I feel like there's three people that left you that were suffering from addictions. Yeah, because that card's just dropped. Suffering from addictions. To, so your family left you. There was three people that left you that weren't supporting you. But then there was two other people that showed up for you. You're paying those people back. You're showing your gratitude towards those people. That just dropped and literally went face down. I don't know if you can see that. Literally went face down. So it's literally somebody turned their back on you. And it was unexpected. But because of all your, your hard work, your focus, your determination, you're being rewarded. You're now seeing the payback from all your hard work. No longer are we gonna have dark days. We're only gonna have light days and the dark days that we do have aren't gonna be what they once were. You're not going back here. If anything, you're gonna be fulfilled. Those leap of faiths that you didn't feel would lead anywhere are now becoming abundant, are now becoming fruitful because you never gave up on your dreams, your hard work. There was nights and nights where you stayed up, bringing work home, not focusing on partying and getting drunk and having drugs and stuff like that. No, no, no. You were at home when everybody else wasn't in work, you was. You gave up your social life to be able to make this abundant. You worked, slept, <laughs> breathed this job. And now you're literally getting stardom levels of success from it. Your wildest dreams are coming true. Literally, this is the happiest you're going to ever feel. And during this process, because you are radiating and it's such a higher frequency, love is gonna come in when you least expect it. And I feel like it's gonna be through work or a work colleague's gonna be like, go on, do that, go out, do this, do this. And then you're gonna do it and meet your, meet the person that you're gonna grow old with, have children with, that's what I'm seeing. It could be, um, I'm seeing a fire sign, that's what I'm seeing, that's what I'm seeing a fire sign. So the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that's what I'm seeing in particular. But the Emperor is the keeper of all signs, so you could be dealing with any star sign, but in particular, I'm being drawn to the fire in that card. But it could just be a relationship that is like full of passion and... <sighs> There's a whole new cycle happening here. You've manifested this. You've got all the tools to make this work. And you know what? All that money that you've put away, all those cycles that you've had to process, you've done it. You've done it, my loves, and you've overcome it. And I don't blame you for showing gratitude towards those people that helped, you, that helped raise you, that helped build you up that gave you the ambition and the drive that you've got now. They were there for you when a lot of people turned their back on you through these hard cycles. These beautiful people didn't. And I don't blame you for trying to raise them up and um, doing what you can to make them feel at ease themselves. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. Wow. 
this is your message, my loves. I hope it gave you clarity on your current situation. If you did want a personal, everything's linked down below. Please go and check out my page on. I'd be really grateful if you did so. May love and light guide you on your amazing spiritual journeys. I'll see you all very, very soon, my loves. Bye, lovelies. Bye.